I love Suzanne Beer's original film. It's so good. It has so much emotional complexity. It's this big melodrama. And she did it really well the first time, and there's no reason to just make it again, I think. So um, when the producer who owned the rights to, to the project came to me, we were thinking a lot about what we could do to kind of reinvent it, but still have the magic of that story. And then Julie and I saw the movie, and she was looking at one of the scenes with one of the actors, one of the men, and she was like, that role I'd like to play. <laughs> and it started to kind of percolate for all of us. And as I then, figured out what it would do to flip the genres, what it would do to the plot, what necessary changes uh, would need to be made. I realized that that was gonna be the answer to the reinvention because not only did it just change the genders, it changed a lot of the narrative. For, for me, I hadn't seen um, a female character like this, someone who had had so much control over her over her life in, in terms of the life that she'd built with her with her husband, with her with her children, um, with her business, um, and, and and watched her when the, when there was a ma when there was a major choice to be made, she she had to she she had to engage with this other woman who had had a, had a very different kind of narrative. And actually, a woman said to me last night, a friend of mine, she said it was really interesting to see a woman represented as a business person, as a wife, as a mother, um, kind of in the world with another woman that she didn't know, like with, with all of those facets. And we don't always get opportunities to do that. So for me, it was really a, a, a wonderful opportunity. The story in, in and of itself, um, I found I had so many questions about, and that always excites my um, you know, imagination. And so if you're with people that you trust and uh, you care that the enterprise, the storytelling, the event that you're trying to create is gonna be one that is gonna be humane and interesting, um, then uh, the questions and the curiosity about it um, is a great starting off point. My first introduction, uh, where the, I hadn't seen the movie previously, I just read the script, so I didn't know what had come before. So I came to it with really fresh eyes um, and responded to what I saw in front of me and then did the um, kind of research to see um, what the original contained and how what the sort of gender swap meant. And it, it meant, you know, it's, it, it was no longer a kind of a remake of something. It was really a reinvention. So it felt like there was a lot of uh, room. When I met them, they were very personable and <laughs> kind to me, but still in the back of my head, I think I did the wrong thing. I met all of them and then I watched all of their movies. Uh, <laughs> two nights, I'd seen most of them, but it did help me. I, I, in a way, I felt like I knew them a little bit more, but at the same time, I'd already admired them, and then it's like fresh in my mind exactly why and what I love about them already as actors. Um, yes, I was freaking out the whole time, uh, but I, I, I don't know. It was really exciting for me.